Good morning, everybody. Today is the day of the open house for the job fair here in Waterloo, Ontario. Slept outside the terminal here. It's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then after that, I believe I'll be headed back home to Manitoba. Well, that was actually a really fun day. I just enjoyed the whole day there. Didn't film anything, but I did take all of those pictures. I think they turned out pretty good. A lot of you live in Southern Ontario. This is where the majority of Canadians do live. Not just like the majority of you guys, but it makes sense that the majority of you live down here because this is where the majority of Canadians live. So we're on our way home now. Uh, open house is all over. It was actually a, a good success. I think we had quite a few people come out. It was, it was really good for a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> it's really good. Next time we come down here, maybe we'll do it on a Saturday afternoon in summertime and we can barbecue some hot dogs together or something. I think that'd be fun. So thanks to those of you who did come out to say hi. There was uh, several, several of you. That was pretty cool to meet you and shake your hand. So I have another van trailer behind me right now. I'm loaded up with like big spools of copper, like big copper coils. They're pretty heavy. And they're further towards the front of the trailer. And then I have like two ATVs at the back of the trailer yet. So I'm pretty heavy in the front. I had to slide the axles of my trailer forward. I haven't had to slide axles in a long time because my, my uh, step decks that I'm usually pulling or my flatbeds have fixed axles. I don't slide them. I can't, physically impossible. They're welded to the frame. But uh, these are bolted to the frame. Whatever. These can slide, so I had to slide them forward. So I came here to the Flying J in Cambridge. I went over the cat scale, which is just on the other side of that building. They have my weight ticket inside. I'm gonna go and check it out, see what my weights are like, make sure that I'm legal. Cause I was really heavy on my drives before I moved those steers up, just judging by my, my gauge here. My gauge is sitting at about 70 PSI. So I know I'm too heavy to go to the US, but I'm probably legal for here in Canada. I just wanna make sure that I didn't slide those axles on the trailer too far forward. I don't wanna be pulling the weight, I wanna carry the weight. So I gotta make sure that I have a little bit more weight on my drives than on my trailer. Smoother ride that way. Let's go see what they have to say. Let's see what my weights are. I'm just eyeballing it and I think, I think I got it. Let's see how, See how good my eyeballs are. <laughs> See how good I am at eyeball and weight just off one gauge. The trailer doesn't have a PSI gauge, so I'm just going off my truck. I think my truck's legal. I know my truck's legal. Let's go confirm that. And the sun's gone down, so we're out east. You know what that means. Everything's full. There's no parking available, nothing, nothing. Same thing as the Eastern US. Once the sun goes down, all the parking is taken. Same thing up here. So one good thing about the prairies out west, there's usually lots of parking. Gotta go and pick up my scale ticket.
this reefer coming in beside me. Looks like he's gonna make it in no problem. Turned on my marker light so he could see me a little better. Thank God. Oh, thank God he knows what he's doing. I parked here uh, in North Bay, Ontario, Petro Pass on the uh, north side of town, north side of North Bay. And I was all the way on the edge here and I was worried about somebody backing in beside me. It's a little bit of a tight spot here, but uh, now I don't got to worry about that anymore because this guy's here and he didn't hit me. Oh, stopped kind of late, so didn't get the exact kind of spot that I would usually take. This one was a little bit dangerous. I got a reefer right beside me now, too. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm, I'll survive. I'll live. As long as he's careful in the morning and not careless, I don't want him to rip off my hood. I'm sure he'll be fine. He backed in like a like pretty much like a boss, so it gives me a lot of faith that we'll be just fine. And I did stop before him, so I'm gonna try to get going before him in the morning. I don't wanna sleep long. And my eight hours are up, I'm out of here. I wanna stop earlier tomorrow so that I can get a better parking spot than this and I don't have to like stress out and have anxiety right before bed, like who's gonna park beside me? Are they gonna hit me? Uh, but at least he's beside me now, so now, if anyone tries to park on the other side of him, they're going to hit him and not me, so. I'm good. I just have to get out of here before I'm in the morning. <laughs> I think, I overthink these things way too much. I always say, I'm like a dog. When I get to a truck stop at night, I've got to circle the lot three times before I can lay down and go to bed. Got to find the perfect spot. Okay, and if it's not the perfect spot, I'm not ashamed to, like, pull right back out and go find a different one, go park somewhere else. Or like rearrange myself like 10 times to make sure I'm exactly straight and out of everybody's way. So that I'm not gonna be disturbed in the middle of the night with someone telling me, hey, could you please move? You're in my way. I don't want that to happen. And I also really don't want someone to hit me. It's the thing that I deal with every night on the road. It's my biggest fear right now on the road. When I'm sleeping overnight and someone, yeah, you get it. Anyways, this guy's got a Volvo right beside me and I can see right into his cab onto his dashboard there. It's lit up like a Christmas tree, like a proper Volvo. He's got the check engine light on. He's got the ABS light on, trailer ABS. There's another check light on. Well, the guy beside me starting up. wonder if he's leaving. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Short vlog today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. We're safe. Trevor Josh, marked safe from being backed into at night. Mm -hmm.